Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Joseph from Screenplay and today I'm going to be giving you my final update in regards to the iPad main PC project. Um, as some of you may know on the channel a few videos back, I talk about how I wanted to try switching to an all iPad workflow. Basically everything that I would do as a creative professional on my main workstation PC, I wanted to try to move it to the iPad. Did it succeed? Let's find out. Okay, so first a quick overview. What exactly does this entail? Well, um, I'm a YouTuber and a video editor, so I needed to be able to edit native GH5 4K footage on my iPad. I also needed to be able to edit it in a nice way with good tools at my disposal for me to be able to achieve what I would normally achieve on a computer. I then also needed to be able to create thumbnails um, and then be able to successfully upload it to YouTube. On top of that, I wanted to be able to use do photo manipulation. I wanted to be able to edit photos on the fly. I wanted to be able to do everything in a mobile space. I also wanted to be able to transfer files and organize my files back and forth between something like my main computer and my iPad. And I wanted to be able to do all of that in a non-intrusive way. Now, the iPad Pro definitely did a lot of these things really well. Uh, when it came to being a standard consumer machine, like watching YouTube, Netflix, uh, doing some light browsing, uh, doing a lot of like typing up, like scripts, things of that nature, the iPad succeeded. It, it even succeeded really well when it came to the tasks like video editing and photo manipulation. It was generally pleasurable to edit those things on the iPad. Where it falls short for me though, is when it comes to file management and uploading and things of that nature. Um, iOS in general is very restrictive. Uh, you have to find workarounds to do a lot of the stuff that you can simply do on a computer like a Windows PC. Uh, what I mean by this, say I want to organize all the video files on my iPad in a folder that I can then reference and bring into my editing software of choice and stay organized that is next to impossible on the iPad. Now, you can use services like Google Drive or iCloud, Dropbox, and you can organize your folder and your files that way. But I'm of the mindset where I'm not fully on board with the cloud yet, and I do wanna be able to have access to my files without an internet connection, uh, which is something that the iPad just doesn't do yet. Not saying it's something that won't come in the future, but it would be really nice if it did. Um, now, the major pitfall that I fell into was when it came to actually uploading it from the iPad to YouTube, which I didn't think was going to be the hard part, but it turns out it is. Um, now, with LumaFusion, uh, which is the video editing app of my choice, and I would highly recommend it if you want to do video editing on the iPad, uh, you can upload directly to YouTube without a problem. However, me, I do something a little bit different when it comes to my uploads. Uh, I upload, so I schedule an upload on Wednesdays at 2 p.m. Um, I also have a pre-filled out description with all the extra stuff in it, and I just fill in the parts that I want to fill in for the description. That is not available from within LumaFusion. So if you go to actually upload it via like the YouTube app or through Safari, that's when you run into a little bit of a problem. Um, a few times when I was uploading a video, I ran into the issue of it's just not uploading in the full resolution, or it would upload way too fast, I'd be curious why it did that, and then I find that it's like 320p. So uh, there's a lot of issues when it comes to getting the files off my iPad and onto YouTube, which I ended up just resorting to sending it to Dropbox, downloading it on my main PC, and just using my main PC to upload the videos. Um, if that's something that can be fixed in the future, uh, that would be really, really useful and make this setup a lot more viable. Now, one area where I actually genuinely enjoyed using the iPad more than my computer is with the fluidity of the editing apps. Uh, LumaFusion is amazing. It edits far better than Premiere on my $2,000 workstation um, where it can edit butterly smooth on an iPad and it's just a dream to work with. The, the interface is intuitive. I really like the way everything is laid out. And I plan on doing a tutorial video on how to use LumaFusion in a new video. So if you wanna see that, feel free to subscribe to the channel. But besides that, um, 
just editing in general was really pleasant on here, but I did feel like a lot of the stuff that I normally like to do was lacking. Like there's certain transitions that I like to have access to and plugins that I have in Premiere that just aren't available with LumaFusion or any app on the iPad really. Um, as well as just, I'm very, very used to editing in the Adobe suite, so a lot of the stuff that I could do in Adobe, I can't necessarily do with on the iPad. For example, LumaFusion's fantastic, but it does limit to you to three video tracks and three audio tracks, so that's very limiting if you wanna do any like serious audio work or serious video work. Uh, you definitely couldn't really edit a narrative on this, like a really like high production narrative on this. Not saying it's not possible, just saying it'd be extremely difficult to do. Um, also, uh, what I found genuinely better than working on a computer was actually with Affinity Photo. Um, I'm not a huge photo manipulator myself, but from the stuff that I do know how to do, doing it on an iPad just felt super intuitive. Um, with the Apple Pencil, I was just able to draw on the effects that I wanted, fine tune my adjustments, and it just felt like I was truly working with the photo, and it was really awesome. So I definitely liked that. Which kind of leads me to my next point. So, working with an iPad is possible. Everything that you would do on a regular PC or Mac, you can pretty much do on an iPad. But almost everything requires some type of workaround to do it. And me, I'm getting older. I'm pushing 30, I want things to be simplistic, I wanna be able to sit down, do what I gotta do, be mobile, and that's it. I don't wanna to have to find workarounds, I don't wanna to have to find tweaks to download certain things, to get things moving around, I just want things to be intuitive. And I feel like Apple has taken the next steps to do that with iOS 11 on the iPad. There's a lot of features here um, that make browsing simple. Uh, for example, um, you now have the ability to drag and drop from any system. Um, you now have the ability to open multiple apps at once. All those things are on their way to making the iPad a viable system or a full PC replacement. But Apple does need to work on file management and just kind of opening up the OS just a little bit. That way you're not feeling like you're being squeezed into doing something a very specific way. Uh, so am I switching to the iPad as my primary PC machine? Nah. I, I love playing video games and I love doing that on my PC. I love editing in Premiere and all of the flexibility that that does award me. Now what I will do in the future though is whenever I don't feel like sitting at my computer or if it's something super simple, I'll actually edit it on the iPad, just because it's possible. But yeah, um, that was my experience with the iPad as my main workstation PC. If you have any questions about my experience or if you have an experience of your own, feel free to share those in the comment section down below. I'd love to start a conversation with you guys. Um, but that's gonna go ahead and do it for this video, guys. If you're new to the channel, feel free to like it. Or if you like the video, make sure to show it by hitting that like button down below. That really helps me out. As well as if you're new to the channel and you like the content, feel free to subscribe. But until next time, guys, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.